I don't see any flint game. I desire some flint. You don't have to use destroy gravel over and over again. Which is thankful because gravel you can only find with dumb luck. That right there is a brown mushroom and I desire. I thought that was a creeper right there, but that is impossible because I'm on peaceful right now. Seriously. Fuck creepers. Uh is that? It's ash, right? That's ash. I don't see any flint at all anywhere. Can't check in the desert because flint doesn't spawn in the desert. I can't check the jungle because it is filled to the brim with leaves and shit. I do want... Holy shit, that is dark. Yeah, dirt has a different color. As you can see, that dirt is green. And over here, it is downright black. Different color dirt has meaning. You want to find... Probably just want to find the two extremes. The lightest and darkest dirt you can find. If I remember correctly, because that means there is a... Well, a chance. For me, it's still a chance. Since I can't tell the difference exactly, but... It means there could be granite and that other stone near. Under it. And you want those stones. Again, if I remember correctly. I haven't really gotten that far yet. And the game appears to be lagging, but it's still recording at a good 60 frames per second. How silly. Ugh, I don't want to go into freaking wasteland. I really don't. But it would appear that I have to. Dang it. Hold on a sec. I need that. Gimme. Need freaking that. Okay, okay, I'll go into the wasteland. I do not like having to go into wasteland because it is a wasteland. Also, I can get lost easily. That is not fun. Would it kill you to have a single piece of flint game? Would it? I have other stuff to do. Okay, um... What am I doing? This is completely pointless. You know what, I'm just going to... Cut the recording here, and I'll see if I can find some flint. Uh, what button? Finally! That took a while. This right here... This button... That's flint. You need flint. At first. I'll take five should actually be sufficient. Okay. Well. Five should be sufficient, so... Let's take ten. Because I do actually need some more because of... Something I don't quite understand. Maybe you guys can help me with that. I certainly hope so, even though it's a bit of a pointless, uh, difference. And the music started just in time. Let's see if I can climb up here. I don't know how I'm supposed to get anywhere without the, uh... Oh, yes! The smart move mod because this is borderline 
That was needlessly dangerous. It's borderline impossible. Vout. Look at this place. Look at it. This place is amazing. Oh boy. Let's see, all the way on the top, we're at height level... 239. I think that area is actually higher, 244. Yeah. But anyway, to give you a short... Uh, walkthrough, tutorial, whatever. On what in this mod you need to do to survive, to get anywhere, because... You, as I've shown, you can't just punch trees anymore. And as I've said, first you need flint. Second, you need to get out of the bloody freaking wasteland you started in and actually find a few trees. Preferably willow trees, because they are useful. They are very handy trees. Thankfully, I started right next to some. Pretty much any tree will work, it's just that willow trees are uh, more useful. For reasons I'll explain in a second. Oh boy. Don't care. Hello. There's quite a few eggs here. That in there, that in there, I need that flint. You know what, I'll just drop the rest of this for a second. Drop all of it. So, I have my flint. Next, you punch the leaves instead of the tree. Do that, you get sticks and you get saplings. Willow trees are good because they have tons of leaves. So you get a good chance to find saplings. That ash tree, for example, this tree right here, very few leaves, so not a good chance of getting a sapling. Of course, I just get one right there. But yeah. You have your sticks, you have your flint. You then craft five of these flint rods. Then Flint rod in hand. Actually, while you're at it, take these sticks and craft a fire starter. Oh god. Yeah, well, the trees also grow fast. Next, you find some stone. Use the flint tool to mine out the stone. This isn't exactly optimal in terms of uh, anything, really, but this'll do. Of course, nor normally you do have to worry about nightfall and all, but if you don't spend half a day or, God help you, an entire day looking for trees, you'll have enough time. Don't know how much stone exactly you need, I guess... Three, at least. Actually, you'll need, you'll need three more. At minimum. So, let's dig out a total of... Six stone, very slowly. You think this stone is tough? That, um, what is it? Ugh, I don't ever remember. Yeah, the darker stone at the other side of the uh, hill here. The flint tool actually can't break it. Some right there, check. Yeah, that's from a pickaxe. Can't break it. That's how tough the damn stuff is. Okay, next. 
I'm just going in there. First, I'll just sleep the night away because I want some light here, even though, as you will see, I have it on uh, night eye vision anyway. So we wait a day. You God help me. Plant the damn sapling so that you'll get more trees. And then, using your flint tool, you destroy the tree. Like that. Tons and tons of logs. Yeah. As you can see, the only stacked a four. That isn't a lot, but it is enough. Let me just destroy this for a second. So, if you have all of that... You then use the flint tools here to get planks. With the planks, you craft a crafting table. I need a second one anyway, although I'll just drop this in here for a second. Once you have that, you get some sticks, get an axe, and you get a pickaxe. I guess I didn't need the flint tool, huh? Well, whatever. Oh yeah, one thing. This thing, not a weapon. Let's see if we can find a chicken. There should be a chicken right there. Flint tool is multi-purpose. You can mine stone with it. You can mine uh, dirt with it. You can break ice with it. But try to beat a chicken with it? Boom, dead. Yeah. It's not a weapon. Don't use it as a weapon. Get rid of that because I don't need it. Now with this, you can get tons of planks. It does use durability, but that is fine. Then you probably want a chest to hold all your needless crud in. Next, you want... Oh god, more saplings. Need some stick? Holy shit, saplings! You want a grand total of three, count them three, sticks. You then toss them, one, two, on the same uh, square, and do toss them individually. Don't do this, it doesn't work. Do this. I know, it is essential, and I got stuck on that, you don't want to get stuck on that. Use the fire starter, and you get a fire. Put some willow in that to keep the fire going. Should have gotten some more sticks beforehand. Just get some now. And oh god, even more saplings. I didn't pick it up. Fantastic. Part of me wish I didn't. What an annoying thing about this swamp area? All the damn vines. I mean, I can climb them, but the leaves are no longer solid. So that doesn't help. Ah, well. So you have your fire here, you put a stick in it, and that creates torches. If you know anything about this game, you know the importance of torches. You can, of course, also cook food in here. But for now, I want some torches. Let's get that chicken I uh, got earlier. Now let's cook that chicken. Cold, warming... Hot.
Don't need that anymore. Very hot. It takes a second, but eventually you get cooked chicken. Gimme, I need more of that. And that's pretty much all I did, because... The next step is to get ore, but... That isn't going for me. One thing I can show you, though, is this. A charcoal pit. I do need some sticks for that. Give me some sticks. This should be fine. What? I need a shovel. Shit. Well, I got all this stuff here, so let's just get a shovel here. That's fine. Charcoal pits. I'm not entirely sure how you dig them. I am new at this myself, so... Let's see. You want to dig like that... Okay, then throw sticks there and set a fire. Just make the fire now, it'll save you time. This is bad. Okay, that is a bit bad, yes. Oh man, that is bad. This is not a good place to build this shit. If only because I just broke my shit. You go there. Where's my shovel? I do not have a shovel, goddamn. Ah, yes. That thing is a javelin. Get some sticks here. That there, that is a javelin. It's, um... Poor man's weapon is a good word for it, and I'm using that because... Swords no longer work. Now, if it isn't the granite, I have the ballast basalt here. Ballast is something entirely different, if you even pronounce that correctly. That doesn't work. Marble here. That doesn't work. So, yeah. Swords no longer work. I needed some damn shovels here. That's pretty bad. Can I drop that? Can I drop that? Wood? Holy shit. But basically, you dig this out. This is an extraordinarily terrible location for one of these, but... Well... Um... Yeah, there is no excuse here. This is just terrible. Torch, 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 torch. Oh, yeah. Chipped ruby. It's not going to rubies and shit in the uh, stone. Yeah. Put torches there and put dirt on top of that. Like so. You can see if that is grass. So if I remove that torch, it stays there. And also now place... Actually, I don't want to place that. That, because that means... The grass won't grow on it, and that is terrible. In fact, I... Um... Yeah, I need to dig this out. Um, Let's see here. I think what I want is... Torch there, torch there, torch there... And I want a torch here. I did not mean to do that. That was a really stupid decision. Come on. I told you I'm new at this. Digging this shit out. Put a torch there. I'm pretty sure using torches like that is either cheating or something else, but yeah, I ain't gonna give a shit. I'm out of torches. Goddamn. 
Normally, of course, we get all that uh, material slowly, but yeah. This should be better. Now I just wait for all of this to grow into grass. Then I can remove all of these damn torches. That's grass. Actually, that's not what I'm looking for. Still grass. So, waiting for all the grass to grow. That's no grass. And nothing else. Actually, I think that right there is grass. It is. That can go away. So once that's all grass, and you remove all the torches, you have an area that looks like this. What do you do with this? You get out all of the logs you have. And by that I mean you get out the incredibly ridiculous lot of it. And by that I mean two filled large chests worth. By the way, javelins? You can throw them. But yeah. You need two large chests worth of this logs. And that allows you to create these things. Which are log piles. Then you fill all of these. Trust me, I'm going somewhere with all this. Hot damn, that's a lot of logs. Oh, yeah. That happens if one is full. Instead of automatically adding wood like that, you place a new one. 